I what kind of hairline will I have when I go for a hair transplant surgery this is one of the most important and most common questions which is there in the mind of the patients when they opt for the hair restoration surgery some people they want a straight hairline some people they want a hairline which is sloping downwards from the sides some people want a v-shaped hairline but what is the correct hairline which will suit your face how should actually a good hairline look like there are certain points which one should avoid when you're getting your hairline designed before the hair transplant surgery number 1 the hairline should never be in a straight line a straight hairline looks like a wig it looks very unnatural so please don't tell your surgeon that make a straight hairline for me the hairline should never come sloping downward if you are a male in a man the hairline is always in a v or a u shape for instance if you see this picture this is a male's hairline if you would notice the center of the hairline is the lowest point of the hairline as the hairline goes to the left and the right it goes upwards so the uh, key to a beautiful and a natural looking hairline is that, that the hairline should always be in, v, in a v or a u shape it should never be in a straight line on the contrary if you see in a woman the hairline can be in a straight line it will not be in a v or a u shape the hairline is straight and it is sloping downwards from the sides whereas in a male if we if you see the previous picture the hairline is in a v or a u shape so please don't tell your doctor that make my hairline straight the most common concern which patients have is that the sides of the scalp this this these sides they bother the patient the most but you know if you take a v or a u shape hairline the grafts the hair when they grow after a hair transplant surgery they cover the sides beautifully you don't need to make your hairline straight to cover the sides so if you want to have a smart and a natural looking hairline you never opt for a straight hairline number second do not go for a hairline in which the grafts are implanted again in a straight row it has to be irregular if you see anybody around you and if you notice their hairline you will see that the hairline is always irregular and it is never in a symmetrical fashion so the correct terminology to describe a natural hairline is that a hairline should be asymmetrically symmetrical and should be irregularly irregular so a v or a u shaped hairline is basically for a man when it comes to a woman it is little different the hairline as i have already mentioned earlier it is not on a v or a u shape it is straight and then it slopes downwards from the sides so this is a female hairline a female may have a mountain peak in the center also so this is the main difference between a male and a female hairline the finest hair of the scalp should come in your hairline your grafts contain single roots your grafts can contain double roots your graft can contain triple roots so you have to see and you have to remind your surgeon to put the grafts containing single roots in the front of your hairline put them in a irregular pattern make them in put them in a v or a u shape so these are the three factors you should take care when you want a natural hairline also when you force your doctor or when your doctor is ignorant and not experienced enough then what they do is that when they create your hairline they make your hairline in this shape which looks like a monkey if you would see a monkey the monkeys have hairlines which is pointed in the center and then it goes in like this so this is also known as a monkey shaped hairline so so when the hairline is made it should not slope down in a round manner from the side it should again go it should have a proper well defined angle in the sides and then it should come down and and if your sides are receding then the sides should be covered independently and not as a continuation of the hairline if you want any guidance on how a natural looking hairline should look like or you want uh, to know anything about hair transplant any aspect of hair transplant please feel free to contact me my address my clinic's address and the phone number of my clinic is given in the caption uh, you are most welcome to visit me in my clinic and have a one on one consultation with me thank you Thank you.